Hi, I thought so today, I'll show you a dish. But very easy to do. Which I find so delicious. Today I thought of preparing is the okra with meat. There are people who like okra and chicken, but I prefer okra with meat. Diced meat. Man, it's really good. I'll show you the way I prepare, the way I like to do. I don't like okra with slime, so I'm gonna do the okra without the drool and with meat. I'm gonna do meat and okra separately. Oh. I want more meat, oh. I want more okra, is then to everyone's liking, are we going to learn? Let's go. First we're gonna need the okra. Selected okra. We must wash them well and dry them carefully. There should be no water on okra. After they're clean and well dried, we'll cut them transversely with a completely dry knife too. You can cut them into slices or even diagonally, at your choice. We traditionally cut even into slices. Cover the bottom of a pan with oil. I prefer to use olive oil because it's healthier and tastes very good. So we put the okra in the pot. Add a little lemon juice, about a tablespoon. This is the secret to eliminating okra's slime. Mix everything up carefully. Add a tablespoon of salt. Add half a cup of red bell pepper. Besides the beautiful contrast with the green the bell pepper is very tasty. Put a chopped onion in the pan. Four tablespoons of tomato sauce. All right, let it all cook a little. The cooking is fast. Did you notice there's no drool? The first part is already complete. What's up? Are you enjoying it so far? We've finished okra and now we're gonna start the meat. In the meantime, can I ask you something? Give me a like down here. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell to receive a warning whenever I put a new recipe on video. You will always be notified. And share too. There are so many people you know who like okra with meat and never did. So, spread it around the world. Okay? YouTube will be happy and I'll be even happier. Is that okay? Thank you. Let's see how we do the meat now. Let's use 2 pounds of knuckle or some other similar meat without too much fat. Let's cut it into cubes. After it's cut, we'll braise it using lard or some other fat. We can use lard since the meat chosen is very low in fat. We're gonna fry it till it's golden. What we want is for the frying to produce the so-called pan bottom, which results in a wonderful taste. Let's put a chopped or grated onion. A tablespoon of sweet paprika. It's actually not sweet, but we call it that to differentiate it from spicy paprika. A tablespoon of black or white pepper. A tablespoon of chimichurri or oregano, whichever you prefer.
Let's keep stirring, greasing the meat. Then we'll put water on until it covers the meat. We take the opportunity to deglaze the bottom and side of the pot, capturing all the flavor. Two tablespoons of tomato sauce. Everything is ready. The okra. And the meat. We will mix them according to our will. Of course you can serve with rice, mashed potatoes, manioc flour, chips. I'll just show you the okra and the meat because this was our proposal. But you can put whatever you want as a side dish. Imagine soaking a loaf of bread in this sauce. Okra With meat Do you know Romeo and Juliet? This is it They were made for each other